Hi guys, I am going to show you how to make ice using a TEC component. The TEC component I am going to use is this one, that is 12706. That means it is working on 12 volt with, with and consumes 6 ampere at the most. And the printed side will be the cold one and this side will be the hot one. And we cannot tell it as a simply hot, it is massive hot. I have seen in so many places that people are using TEC with this computer fan. Typically it won't work. You cannot create ice using this computer fan. It's because this fan, you can see that this is used uh, in a quad core processor. This fan is not enough to reduce the temperature to a sufficient amount. That is because the area of contact portion of the heatsink is much less when we are comparing with the area of the TEC. You can see that. See, some portion is still out, outside the heatsink. If you are applying a thermal paste at the outer area, still a 2 or 3 millimeter is outside the uh, heatsink portion. See, if you are comparing this TEC with the CPU, or an IC we can apply the heatsink on a typical area but in case of TEC we cannot apply that one that means e the full square area of this TEC is becoming hot that means if you are reducing the temperature on the center portion for example if, you are, if I am uh, applying this uh, TEC on here the area where it is having contact with the heatsink will be less in temperature but the uh, outer area that is not contacting with the heat sink those areas are becoming really hot that is that is why we, we cannot use it making an ice if you are using this heat sink if you can use the heat sink but uh, see the heat sink should be a bigger one see the length is much less it should be uh, two or three times the length of the current this one and also the heatsink should be full contact with this uh, TEC also the fan should be a bigger one not a simple fan which we are using inside a computer CPU we need a really big fan see we have to reduce the temperature to below room temperature and see when we are playing a game in a mobile phone the temperature of the mobile phone will uh, reach 45 to 55 degrees centigrade sometimes even more but in case of TEC the temperature should be below room temperature see much below room temperature then only my ice will form here otherwise you cannot even create ice using this TEC so the heat sink I am going to use is this one because see I have tried a couple of other CPU fan and this one to create ice on the top of this TEC and it was a great failure. That is why I tried a lot of other techniques and found out this one is most effective one. This is the heat sink I am going to use. You can see that the thickness is a bit high 2-3 mm uh, thickness and the length this is my hand and you can see the length of the uh, heat sink. And I am going to use with this plate see this is a steel plate you can use any ceramic or uh, any other plates because this plate won't play any good thing in this reducing the heat what I am going to do is I am placing this heat sink like this top down here and placing the TEC you can apply a small amount of um, thermal paste here and place it here and pour some water up to the tip level of this heat sink that means we are going to use water cooling mechanism water cooling mechanism is most effective because it will reduce the temperature to the uh, to below room temperature very very effective one and I will show you how next one is the power source for this TEC uh, it will draw 6 ampere I have tried using eliminator and failed in generating ice on top of it so what I prefer is to use a 
an SMPS of computer. You don't need any costlier one. You can uh, buy a cheap one which is having 400 or 400, 450 watt range. But make sure that the 12 volt ampere is greater than 7 ampere or 8 ampere, 10 ampere. Here you can see that the yellow the yellow portion yellow wire which is having plus 12 volt 16 ampere that is this connector i am going to use this is the old connector see you can see that this this red wire is having 5 volt power supply and sender two connectors are having ground that is zero degree sorry zero volt and the yellow wire you can see the yellow wire yellow wire is having the 12 plus 12 volt do not use this 5 volt you can you need to use this 12 volt this smbs is very good for uh, this tec so it will give you enough power source for this tec i will show you how what i am going to use it so i place the tec here i am removing the tec now and we need to make use of water pooling i am pouring water on it on the side through the side water cooling is the best one cooling mechanics available today uh, some uh, some other coolant technique are also possible this is this is not enough okay i am pouring some more water here so that it will reach the tip of this heat sink okay that's enough a bit more okay okay now water is enough now we can need to do something to start the smbs smbs won't start by default you have to do something you can see a green wire here see the green wire this one green wire the which is fourth pin of from the right side you can see yeah green wire. in order to start the smbs that green wire need to be sh connected to the ground that is zero that is black wire so i am doing that otherwise this smbs won't start i am now i am doing a small wire I'm just shorting that contact. I will show you. So I connected the green line with the black wire. Now we can start the SMBS. Before that, I need to give the load. That is our TC. Okay. I connected the TC to the processor uh, female port and power source I given and placed the TC on top of the heat sink I am going to switch on this uh, SMBS SMBS is on I am putting some water, drop of water here need to condense it is making ice you can see it yeah it become ice ice cool yeah within less than 30 seconds is required to generate ice you can see it see See, I will switch off the thing. I will show you. See, see, it reduced. I will show you once again.
Yeah, it start forming eyes again. Yeah, it become eyes now. See. So, you have seen making eyes using cheap water cooling mechanism, very 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 cheap one and using this SMBS we can create the whole uh, AC or air cooling mechanism, cheap air cooling mechanism using this TEC, we can, uh, you, the one SMBS is enough for all operation, TEC, pumping or all other stuff, we can, uh, the next thing what we need to do is we have to sustain this water cooler because the water will become hot after 30 minutes of operation so we need to reduce that temperature we can use uh, some kind of radiator for uh, reducing the temperature I am actually making on it I will update you whenever I found a new techno technique to reduce this temperature so for today it's okay fine thank you